Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 1.5 of my Let's Play of Molten Moose Quest Paradox RPG Confrontation Chapter. Now this time we're going to see what happens if we side up with the Marines. Oh look, it's Alice. So this is basically a re replay of what we saw Elias say. So, Marport's closed for... Marport's closed for civilian traffic and that's really too bad, ain't it? Oh, aren't you in the same condition as we are? No. I know you are, I can tell. Baga, baga. Shut the hell up, moron. Yeah, they don't get along well. Oh yeah. Oh bugger. I forgot something or other happened to Luca and he lost his ability. Or rather, it de equipped his ability. There we're good. Or we should be. So Marpor, same thing as before. Talk here, talk here. And now we can go to the Marine Headquarters. <laughs> hey look, it's a singing dragon child. Now we speak to Leviathan with Elias. Yeah, we're here to save the world. <clears throat> we're still going to have to talk to the pirates. Because the marine ship won't be ready until we do. Elias does tell us to ignore the dog, but again, no choice. I shall still cool. You know the really weird thing about Elias and Alice? They've been shrimpified and they still have the same problem as before. I mean, they, the quarrel between them is still petty, but now it's small and petty as before it was big and petty. All right, so we're siding with the Marines. This is a sea slug girl. So it seems like this is going to be a long battle. So is everything ready? Yeah, Elias is ready. Alright, let's do this. So she's heard everything from the Admiral. So, we can take one of the Dragon Childs with us. Hey, you, over there, singing. Come along with these guys. Hmm, where are we going? I don't know what's going on, but she'll come along. Um, bye, Sarah. The name for her is ridiculous, but it's cool. Kind of cute, you know. Normally, they're Tatsunoko, or Dragon Child. Her name is Tatsuko. And this girl's coming along with us, too. Her name's Stacy. Bye, Lucia. And we're off. Our target is the fish. Elias is happy to be doing this. She says it's exciting to be vanquishing pirates. She literally says exciting in English. Oh, look, a pirate. Let's fight it. Oh, that is sappy. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! No. First of all... I got these new characters in and I couldn't swap them around like I wanted to. That's me. We did it, so... well... 
So just like this, we need to clear out all the pirates and defeat Captain Boney. This girl will say the same thing as when we first met her. That is, all clear on the starboard side. Meaning she's bad at her job since we actually boarded on the starboard side. We don't get to raid the food supplies. Actually, I'd like to get them. No, you can't steal the food. And yeah, you can come through here and nab all kinds of food. Pizzas, cucumbers, cabbage, cheese, biscuits. Um, I think that was honey or something. Aside from that, there's not much to do on this floor. Oh. The dog betrays the pirates. How mean. Uh-oh. Maybe I should have listened to what they were saying. So, we're defeating on left and right. Alright, we have to buy some time, if even just a little. Buying time. Wonder what they're up to. Well, trust me, they aren't buying much time. But, you know, it's always enough. Yeah. Alright, Captain Boney of the Sakana Fish of the... Fish pirates, come along quietly. That's not the pirate. <laughs> That's not the captain. It's just a stray cat. So, Captain Pony isn't here, and Vice Captain Nashell isn't here. Hmm, I wonder what happened. There's a report. They got away in an escape boat. Oh, these blasted villains! They ran away in a boat. Hey, you know there's a map on the table here. And there's marks on it. Oh, how observant. This is a great pirate cave. Blah, blah, blah. So, he likes to figure it out where they're going. Now, uh, what if this is a trap? And they're deliberately sending us off to some completely unrelated place. No, it isn't. Huh. Yeah, probably not. Well, if it was a shell, I could see her doing it. But this is Bonnie's seat, even if the cat's always in it. <sighs> I'm hungry. Yeah. So, in order to chase her down, we go to the same damn cave. So it should be filled with marines, but actually the pirates took it over in this route. So it's filled with pirates. How flexible. So let's go capture her. This girl can heal and sell some toiletries and things. So, this one hasn't changed much, well, at all really, until you get to the final square and you find a couple of bosses. Oh, a boss with two characters. This, ta this dragon child will heal you. And, hey, they opened the chest already. You know, she's really disappointed it's come to this. Either says there's no way that she would side with pirates. You guys should be ashamed for even asking. Alright, fish pirates Captain Bony and Vice Captain Ashell, come along quietly. Oh, like that ever works. Resistance is futile. We've taken this we've taken the fish already. And most of you have already been captured. 
<sighs> well, so it's come to this. Bonnie really thought that we that she'd be getting along with us. Oh man, I'm sorry, Bonnie. God. Pirates were evil. Evil can only be destroyed. Well, for the sake of everybody on the fish pirates, we can't let ourselves be covered. So, it's a fight. Ah, well, can't be helped. If we let Milady here get captured, I sure would feel guilty towards the previous captain. Yeah, Ashel's been kind of entrusted with Bonnie. She does take it seriously, doesn't she? Man, I'm so sorry, Bonnie. These girls are pretty tough. Or actually, I think my character is pretty weak. So, they've been defeated. So with this, the villains have been captured. Helios feels really fulfilled, having completed this task. So, with this victory, the Admiral should be very pleased as well. Hey. So with that, back to the Admiral's place. Alright, here are Luca. Good job. And since you did it, and everything went well, as promised, you get the entry into the Marines, and other stuff. Alright, the fish, which they confiscated, is now ours. Hmm. To give the whole ship to us, that's pretty generous. If you were a human, you'd be able to get into heaven. Helios, you outrageous bitch! <laughs> anyway, Tatsuko and Stacy, you get to stay with Luca. You're going to be helping them out on their, their adventure. It's your new mission. Understood. We have received the orders. Yeah, furthermore, on the first floor in the storage room, we can get a bunch of items. They'll be helpful on our journey. At that time, you also will receive the Naval Operations Permission. So if you have that, there's the Marine job and the Pirate job we can change to. So why are you being so generous here? Well, Leviathan also wants to see the world saved. According to the information that she's managed to gather, Luca and gang here, is the world's best hope. So, she's the one who supports order on the seas, and, well, order in the whole world is necessary for that. It's a world crisis, so, there you go. That's right, obey me. Then, that itself is the best thing you underling, you underworld people can do. God, Elias is such... Well, we know her. In any case, we said to Leviathan that we were headed towards Grand Noah. She tells us to be careful. Because behind the war... Ah, uh, no. I really shouldn't say anything more. You guys will see for yourselves. Come on, come on. Don't go talk to me like that. Spit it out. <laughs> but she doesn't. We got the fish. And now we can hold two more members in our party. For a total of ten. Nifty. And this is all for Elias' glory. You should not forget to offer a prayer of gratitude. Alright, explanation of how the ship works. I was just like how Ashel told us to uh, Luca in our other branch. So, let's go to Grand Noir in our ship. It's to the north. So, we land in 
on the beach we should find Grand Noir there. So if we look on the map, on the continent up there, there's a village right close by. It should be called Finoa. Oh, that's right, in the marine base we got some items coming to us. We better go grab those. Alright then, let's depart. So this is pretty short. Now, oh, of course, the cat's here. So, the cat pirates had this Nekomata with them, and for some reason, she wants to sit in my seat. So, blah blah blah. Oh, what are you guys still doing here? Do you have any need? If you're looking for your stuff, it's downstairs. But we can challenge Leviathan to a fight. Not like I'm going to. I surprised myself after the previous part in that my other crew could actually tackle her pretty easily. This crew, not so much. So, want some stuff? According to the Admiral's orders, here you go. High medicine. A wind knife. Big sickle, some kind of armor, blah blah blah. 10,000 gold. Furthermore, there's the permission to change the sea jobs. With this, you can marines, pirates. Great. And that's the story of that. Wait a minute. Wow, you traitor. Okay, now the marines are feeding her. She's a good guard dog, actually. Um, no. As a guard dog, she seems pretty useless. And interesting, Achille is now doing the cooking. If you'd read all the flavor texts like, coming up to this point, you would realize that the sea slug girl that they had here was a really bad cook. Like, I'm gonna use this whatever meat with this whatever sauce and see what happens. Bonnie has been taken captive. And she's being treated like she's totally useless. How unfair. Which is pretty accurate. Well, at least she's not in solitary confinement or anything. So, next time we get to head into the Noah region. So, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.